guys, I'm not Rishabh. Obviously, I'm Sunil. I'm the one who is normally filming on this channel. But for some reason, today Rishabh wanted me to do this segment. So I'll be hosting today's episode. So let's get into the video. So there is something that I want to tell you guys before we start. I have eaten about one pound of bugs, insects, and rodents in the past one year. Please don't hate me for this. I'm going to talk about it in a bit. But can eating bugs be a good thing? Now that we're talking about bugs, we're definitely not into the vegetarian domain. So let's compare it with other non-vegetarian foods. So on comparing chicken or lean beef with insects, they pretty much have the same amount of protein value per 100 grams of serving. But some bugs can have almost 80% protein by weight. Caterpillars have 53 grams of protein per 100 grams of serving, which is twice as much as chicken, which has 25 grams of protein per 100 grams of serving. Not just that, they also contain a lot of iron, thymine, niacin, and a lot of other nutrients. In fact, they can be much more nutritious than lean beef or even fish for that matter. But apart from being nutritious, it can be a lot more economical and sustainable to cultivate bugs. For example, to produce 1 kg of beef, it takes about 20,000 litres of water. To produce 1 kg of chicken, it takes about 2,300 litres of water. And to cultivate 1 kg of crickets, it takes about 1 litre of water. Well, that's a lot of water being saved. In fact, the United Nations Food and Agricultural Department has recommended that eating insects might solve the world's food problems. But not a lot of us are going to be comfortable with eating bugs. I'm definitely not going to go to McDonald's and order like McLarve burger. But like I said, I've already eaten one pound of bugs in the last one year. That is because food and drug agencies are okay with a certain amount of insects being there in packaged food. They term it as natural or unavoidable defects which don't present any health hazards to human beings. I have a list right here. 250 grams of orange juice can legally contain up to 5 fruit flies. 100 grams of chocolate can contain up to 3 to 5 rodent hair. 10 grams of oregano can have more than 1250 insect fragments. And what tops the list is fig paste which contains 13 or more insect heads per 100 grams. Well, these are not the average amount of bugs you'll find in any of these food items, but the Scientific American says that an average person consumes up to 1 to 2 pounds of insects every year. So technically, we all eat bugs. So if you want to keep insects away from your food, then you need to cut down on packaged food and organic produce. But then you'll run into problems of eating pesticides because that is what keeps the bugs away from the regular produce. Given a choice, I would rather eat the bugs. So that was all for this episode guys. I hope you had fun watching and I hope you learned something and I hope you did not throw up on your keyboards or on your iPads or phones. Yeah. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also give it a thumbs up if you found something interesting in this video. I will see you guys next time. Not like literally, but yeah, I'll still see you guys. Yep. Bye.